What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create an NFT or a non fungible token. So, what is a non fungible token? Basically, it's something on the blockchain that cannot be divided or broken up, but can be transferred, right? So, um, we're going to create a piece of art and turn it into cryptocurrency, essentially, is what's going to happen, okay? So, first thing we're going to do here, guys, is open up our browser and go to app.rarible.com, okay? So, Rarible is a app that basically is going to do all the hard work for us. If you don't want to um, try to figure out how to code and, um, you know, write to the blockchain, essentially, like, this is going to be the easiest way. There's probably a couple other apps out there that do the same thing as well. But essentially, you upload your image, and you're going to pay a fee in Ethereum gas. And that's it. It's on here, and then you can sell it, trade it, whatever you want to do. Okay, so it's actually a pretty easy um, process. So the first thing you do once you come here is you're going to go to Connect Wallet. And I'm using MetaMask. If you're using Wallet Link, uh, Fortmatic, or Wallet Connect, choose the one that you're using. If you're not sure how to use MetaMask or need help setting it up, I have a video I'll link in the description that will teach you how to do that. And now we're in. Um, so from here, this is a list of other collectibles that have been made by other people. And what we want to do is just create collectibles. So right up here in the top right hand corner, and from this screen, you're going to decide if you want your collectible to be a single collectible or a multiple. So what that means is a single is a one of one, and a multiple is you can have multiples, you know, 20 of 20, 100 of 100, 1,000 of 1,000, whatever it is. So you can have uh, multiples um, of those, okay? And so for mine, I am going to do a multiple. And... Um, the first thing we want to do is to have an image. I already created an image here, so I'm just going to open up Photoshop. What do you guys think? I just made a bunch of shapes and some colors, and I um, put some images that I had together. Um, the Ethereum symbol hidden in there a bunch of times. So, I, you know, nothing special. I made this real quick, but um, hopefully it looks cool and somebody wants to buy it. Alright, so we're going to save as, and I'm going to save it as Ethereum Dreams. Alright, so let's upload this image. So it has to be under 10 megabytes. I didn't even check to see if mine was, but hopefully it is. I don't think it's over that. And where are we at? Documents, BitRush. There it is, over here. All right. Cool. Looks pretty cool. Um, we're going to create a collection. So Rarible, if you don't have a, or this is your first time just messing around testing it, you can just use Rarible Rary as the collection, and it's going to put it in the collection with everyone else who's done that. If you want your own collection, um, you're going to create one. So I'm going to create one here. And I guess I'm just going to do my crypto picture here actually I'm gonna just put it in the rare collection uh, just because I've never done that before and it looked like it's a few more settings that I'm ready to put in so um, you guys can mess with that if you want in the future I'm gonna just do the rareable one okay so come here to names and Ethereum Dreams, and we're going to give it a description. So 
is a quick little description, whatever you want to say about it. And here comes the, the copies. So how many copies do you want to be printed? For me, um, I think I'm going to pick a, an odd number. Do something like 13. 13 copies. Okay, and uh, royalties. This So the first time you sell each one of these, you'll get 100%. But what royalties is, is if it's resold. So you sell it, and then that person decides to sell it to someone else later down the line. It becomes... Um, worth a lot more money or something like that you can get a 10% of every time it's sold and you can set this up here right so I'm gonna do um, yeah we'll do 10 10 is fine um, keep 10% so every time it's sold and properties here you can enter um, a key value if you want to do that I'm gonna just leave that alone Okay, so digital key code redeem link or file. So that basically that's once it's purchased, you can unlock it, um, or you can have a, something special have to happen. We're gonna put it on sale. Okay, so we put it on sale, and we can do um, it's priced in Ethereum. So I'm just gonna say I'm gonna sell this for you know Ethereum is approximately three hundred and eighty dollars right now. I haven't checked this morning. That's where it was yesterday. So, 0 0.1 should be about $3. I think that's a fair price. And properties are if you wanted to add anything else. Um, as far as like description or anything like that like you can add rarity and things and things of that nature so um, I think I'm good on this I, th I think everything looks cool I might just add in a property just to kind of be funny rarity value Unicorn. So my rarity is now a unicorn. <laughs> this would be funny, right? You gotta add some humor in here, guys. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. Everything looks good. 13 copies, 10% royalty, rarity unicorn. Um, selling it for about $3 a piece. And let's rock and roll. Create. So now it is deploying, right? So the first thing it's gonna do is mint your new token. Wow. It's going to cost $5. I did this the other day, and it was only about $3 to do this. Um, but it looks like the Ethereum prices have gone up for the gas, so we're just going to confirm it. <clears throat> and you just want to make sure you're going to make back more than you're, you're paying. So I just paid $5, but I'm selling 13 copies at three dollars a piece if they sell of course um, so it should be fine in the end uh, right now sign the sell order it's basically you're agreeing to sell these right token ID price value so here we go and boom we're back to my collections okay so I have a bunch of crypto kitties on here. I also have um, this was my test one. I created this ten dollars and the year um, Thor chain meme, right? So I'm selling these also for about three fifty seven each, and there's nine of them. If you guys want one of these, um, created this yesterday as my test one, and then. Um, yeah, the new one. Where is it? It's not up yet. So we're just waiting. It's probably still getting written to the block. So just give it a second here. Um, I will leave a link in the description to uh, my on sale section here, guys. So if any of you want to purchase either, you know, the Rune um, ten dollar end a year meme, or if you want to purchase my Ethereum's Dream one I just created, they will be for sale, and I'll leave the link for that in the description. I'm gonna just reload this let's see I can see it right here so let's 
check on uh, MetaMask and just make sure that transaction isn't still going through. Okay, yeah, so that con it's still going through here, guys. Um, viewed on EtherScan just to check it out. It's already been two minutes. So these always say the estimate confirmation is 35 seconds, even though it takes like two to five minutes every single time, and they're still charging us five dollars worth of ether. Really? Come on. So, um, you know, it would be really great if the Ethereum programmers could fix this gas fee problem because it's kind of getting out of hand. If I'm going to be completely honest, the whole point of Ethereum is supposed to be a fast and you know lightweight cheap network and right now it's not that fast i'm going to be honest and it's super expensive so something needs to change here with the ethereum network uh, get it back on track here um but yeah i'll just fast forward to once it clicks through all right guys that transaction was finally confirmed here it says 19 seconds it took like 19 minutes are you serious 40 seconds ago okay whatever um, so yeah, it took quite a while to get done. Um, not sure why it actually took that long. Um, last time I did it uh, a couple days ago, it was really quick. So it might just be um, the network right now, the Ethereum network. So it is what it is. But all right, now you can see in my collection, um, I now have Ethereum Dreams. And if I go to on sale, here it is. I can click on it. Boom. Looks kind of cool. I almost wish this block right here had a little bit more transparency so you could see through that a little bit better. Um, but other than that, I think it turned out exactly how I want. I think yeah, if I were to do it again, I'd take just this piece right there with that triangle, my uh, pyramid, and reduce the transparency a little bit so you could see it a little better. But other than that, um, thing looks cool. I like it. Let's go over here, owners. So one owner, one owner. History was minted one minute ago, and details rarity unicorn. Look at that. So pretty cool, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, you learned something valuable. If you're an artist, um, now you know how to turn your art into cryptocurrency. How to create a token out of it. How to sell it online, digitally. And if you're, you know, a musician or something like that, there's other cool stuff you can do, like how I was um, at the point where you can have an unlockable thing. So you could have, say, like a secret song no one knows about that you don't release to the public. And once they buy it, they get a piece of art, maybe some cover art as an NFT. And with that unlocks a link to the actual song to be downloaded or something like that. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this, guys. Um, the other thing is once you have this, so now these are in my wallet. They're listed on the marketplace here, but Rary is not, or Rarible is not the only uh, marketplace. So there's other marketplaces you can go to. And as long as you sync up your MetaMask wallet, the same wallet where these tokens are held, um, you'll be able to sell these to uh, sell your NFT tokens on other platforms. So you can create them here on Rarible and then go sell them wherever you want. You can trade them, give them to your friends, whatever you guys want to do with them, right? Um, so that's up to you. But I hope you guys learned something valuable. Um, this is a fun one for me. I'm probably going to mess around and continue to make some art. So if you want to check my channel um, or my marketplace, again, I will leave a link for that in the description so you guys can purchase some of my art or just browse it, take a look, let me know what you think, look at my crypto kitties, all that good stuff. All right, guys, if you like this one, please hit the thumbs up. It really does help the channel with the algorithm and all of that. If you like the content and you want future content like this, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified when new videos are released. Um, if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends and family or anyone else you think may enjoy this content. That's it for today, guys. Happy mining. Let's get that coin.